of avocado. Are you seeing the size of this thing? Massive. Ooh, that was some nice foam. Oh, there's a lot of foam in there. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Today is gonna be a good day. We are decorating. We have rugs. We have a console I need to show you. We're gonna decorate the console. I've been waiting. We got a whole home decor haul that I ordered you know, weeks ago and it's here and it's been sitting here. But look at the foam on, oh, you can't even see it. Look at the foam. Cheers. Happy days. I love a warm coffee season. It's chilly in here. Oh my God, it's 64 degrees. Well, I have nine minutes to drink my coffee and eat my eggs that I'm so excited about. Feels like it's been forever since I've had these eggs and I love them. Mmm, yep. Very good, happy to be home. It's Tuesday, which means I'm working out with my sweet Kaya. Her workouts are great, her vibes are great. I'm gonna link her website down below in case any of you are curious about what she does. Jill's been working out with her for like a year now and she would always tell me how much she has transformed the way she views working out and it's no longer like an annoying thing. And you guys know me, the workout, the workout thing has not been my go-to. I shouldn't say that, I just haven't like prioritized it. It's just been like an annoying task that I just put off all the time. But there's something about Kaya that she just like, she makes it more about you're doing it for your body, not for your appearance or for any kind of vanity. It's truly so you can do things as you get older and just things are easier for you and your body feels good. And that's truly how I feel when I work out with her and when I do active things now. It's not to change the way my body looks at all. It's so that I feel stronger and healthier on the inside and I just, that mindset change is game changer. Mm. I was thinking about it while I was making my eggs. I shouldn't go into a whole chat right now because I don't have a lot of time, but I was just feeling like so good being home. I feel like this is my real life versus LA is just like kind of fun and I like pop in for a bit, but this feels like my life now and I feel really good about this life. I feel like really confident in who I am here and what I do for myself and who I'm becoming that I just feel really good to be back. Having my coffee, scarfing down my eggs and then we're working out. Welcome to the vlog. I set a timer so I wouldn't lose track of time. It's the only way to survive. Good morning. I did have an egg so as well. Cheers. I still have to grab my chair. My legs are done for, done for. Like I, <laughs> that was a good one. I love Kaya. That girl, we are so similar. She introduced me to, um, the, I think it's called the human design. You put in all your birth information and it basically tells you everything about yourself. And I relate so much to it. I, I think it's fascinating. It's so crazy how validating reading this stuff is because it's like, okay, this is who I am and this is why I am the way that I am. Based on that, I am a generator, which means I feed off of other people's energies and, and things like that. And I just find it so true. Kaya is also a generator and there's just so many things that we have in common just with our own self and being and the way that we express ourselves. And it's just so fun to talk to her. I just love that girl. Again, her link is down below. She's just the best. I just, great. And a good workout too, like, mm. The body is feeling sore. It's now 12, it was 10 o'clock when we started, but we talked for an hour, classic. Now I gotta call my dad back because he called me while I was in the class and I obviously couldn't pick up. And then I gotta get into a shower and get myself dressed because we got things to do today. Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you doing today? One o'clock, right? Yeah, maybe even like at 12.45. Let's do it, see you soon. Bye. Bye. I think my dad is happy to have me. <laughs> Like, he's been looking for a project and he keeps telling me that he's bored and looking for a project. So we're like throwing all these ideas everywhere. And I think he, I think he's excited to like come back and do stuff again, which makes me really happy because I enjoy it as well. I like that quality time that we get together and it's very helpful for me because, you know, makes things go a little easier. We're also going to the bank at like two o'clock because I'm applying for some card that gets me a bunch of air miles. He's helping me with that. So that's always nice. But I gotta hop in the shower, get myself ready, and then get some things tidied up a little bit. <sighs> Good start to the day. And we're clean and we are dressed and we have tidied and my dad's gonna be here momentarily. So let me run you through the whole rug situation. Oh, well, first of all, I got a console, which I am so happy about. I'm so happy with it. It is like the perfect thing for that space, space right over there. I had ordered something and then I was waiting for it for like a month and then I found something else that I liked way better. And so I was like, okay, 
let me figure out what the return policy is for the other one. And I placed an order for that. And basically I can return the original one without even having it arrive here. It just made it to the shipping facility and I can call them and tell them to return it back to wherever it came from. So happy I discovered this one because it is like 10 times better than the other one. But today I want to decorate it finally and like get it all set up. And then there's also the whole rug situation. So. Let me run you through it. First of all, ignore my bowl from last night. It's still there, you know, it happens. This is the rug I originally bought for the living room. As you can see, it's like a little small. It's a little small, but honestly, I really like it. I love the color of it. I love the texture it brings into the space. We also have the faux cowhide over there, but I ordered a rug for my bedroom and I decided I didn't love it. Like it's fine. I'm just like very particular and it just wasn't, it wasn't perfect. And so I was going to return that rug, but then I discovered I couldn't return it even though the website of the place I ordered it from said free, easy returns. So why would I assume you can't return the rug? I reached out to them and they said, sorry, no, we can't return. We can't accept returns from Canada. And I was like, well, your website very clearly says like literally big words, easy 30 day returns. And they were like, sorry, no, you have to look into the policy which I just think is very deceptive and I really, really hate that. So I'm not even gonna say where it's from because I will not ever purchase from that company again. It's a cheap rug website. Just look into the policy is all I'm gonna say. Don't ever trust a homepage, look into the policies. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Anyways, I can't return it, but it is the bigger size that would have been better for this space. It's the same exact rug that I have for my runner, which I think looks really great. So what we're gonna do, instead of letting this bother me, <laughs> I figured out a solution, a potential solution. We're going to put the rug that I have in the bedroom that I don't like up there in the living room. And I think it will likely look good in the space. It's gonna be bigger, so it'll fill it out more. And then I did buy a new rug for my bedroom that I, <laughs> hope will work. I feel more confident about this when I did open it up and I saw what it looked like and it's more of the vibe that I had in mind. It's the same vibe that I meant to go for, but the pictures were deceptive and I ended up getting the same rug that I had already purchased. I don't know, anyways, whatever. So what I'm gonna do with the rug that's currently in the living room, it is the exact size that I needed to get for my office. I had already placed a rug order from that same website for the office, but I canceled it immediately after I discovered that they were liars. <laughs> Not to be dramatic, but I'm gonna use that one and put it in the office. And I think that will conclude the rug saga. The rug saga that you guys didn't even know was going on, but I have been thinking about it for months. When I say months, I mean like probably six weeks. So that's what's going on. I also wanna measure the office window so I can put like really sheer curtains up there just to add a little bit more. Hello. Welcome. I like this one, but the other one could work just as well, but the other one's bigger. So, cause you know, like it doesn't really, totally reach in the couch and there's also that crack under there. This is six by nine, that one's eight by 10. Seems like kind of the only plan. Otherwise that rug is just like useless. And I really hate that. Oh, I know, I'm also ready for Christmas. It's like that. Simple. So let's just roll this with the mat. Yes, yeah, a good plan. You got it? I got it. Hi. I'm gonna put it up there right now. Now hopefully I like this up here. Well you will. It looks like it's too small. We'll see. Uh, the rug saga. Oh, it, it looks weird without the rug now and like it just looks bare. Okay. So let's Which way it. does it go? I think this side. I like the other one better. Why? But maybe I'll just get used to this one. Of course you get used to it. It's just that you're not used to it right now. Yeah. Well you're not gonna have that little crack there anymore. Nope. It's gonna spill out. So let's lift this first and shove it on that. Yes, I'm just trying to think about how we might do that. Lift and push. Back here. Yeah, we'll both lift the back, or I'll lift the back and you go underneath. Well then we'll lift up the one side and then it'll be easy to lift up the other one. I think we put it back where it needs to be and then we'll work on it. Okay. That's 
straight enough across for you? Uh, well, if we bring it back there. There you go. Okay. Well, it's a bigger rug. It fits better. There's not going to be a little crack there. No. And that's good. It's the right fit. Yeah. It's, let's face it, you can't go wrong with this rug. No. It looks nice. There. Something like that, right? Yeah. I can reach my hand. I think, maybe. But you'll notice there's notches. It has to go into the notch spot, right? Got it? Yep. All right. Nice work. That's a good one, isn't it? We've got to uh, leave in like five minutes. So let's just put the pillows back on. We should just we should just leave. Yeah, we got time. I, I feel like I can't have that in there anymore. No, you can't. It's, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Well, get something cute for there, like a little. A little something. A little something. All right. Hello. Good shit. We're coming back for this later. We're off to the bank. We're gonna walk over there, get some nice fresh air. But this is, it's gonna be what's gonna be. <laughs> We're not doing this again. So. back it's actually much later we were there for kind of an hour and then we went to whole foods oh. and now we're back at it yeah i think it's maybe the other yeah this is gonna look good i think that looks much better now that you don't have that little crack well yeah the crack didn't look great it feels out here a little bit nicer right it now. feels like there's a lot more rug in this space. No, it feels like the right amount of rug in that space. I liked that it was a little bit lighter, the other rug, I but it's this. fine. I love this rug. All right, here is the console. Oh, it looks good. I think it looks perfect. It fits the space great. Coloring is perfect. It's like a nice chunky wood. I really love it. And now I'm going to remove all of this from the lamp. Let it be seen. Yeah, I've never seen a heavier lamp than that. No, it's insane. Nice. That is really pretty. The stone. I'm gonna have to get maybe some something sticky or something to get the uh, wires to go down. It's not straight, eh? We're gonna have to get organized like down through here, right? Okay, we're gonna come back to this, but we're going up to uh, to the office now. Having this area filled with light is gonna fill this whole room. Well, at night, it's really nice having this lamp on. It makes yeah. such a difference. Oh, let's see what the, the rug looks like. Okay. It looks fantastic. Do you? Much improved. I don't know. I like the other, the other one. Looked, one. Uh, like I mean, it was too small, but I liked the coloring. It was too small. But I'll get used to this, I guess. And you're gonna love your carpet right now. <gasps> oh, yeah. The bedroom looks really good. Are you kidding? I swear it's coming, guys. At some point. So, um, here's the deal. Because we were gonna have it this way, and it's gonna look like, but it's not looking. Like, this is supposed to be six by nine. Maybe it's not. No, it has to be. Ooh, that looks maybe a little bit less than six. But anyway, it's called six up by nine. You don't necessarily want the chair running or on it, or do you? I'm fine with it on it, because then I won't scratch my floors. I think it has to go back this way. It can't go this way. If it goes that way, then um, let's go. It's going to look awkward. Well, let's think about it. That'd be a good section. There's no way it's six. Five feet. It's supposed to be six by nine. Yeah. Maybe it's only five it's by eight. Piece. So you'll pick it up, I'll pick it up, and then we'll slice it through. Okay. Oh, like a taco. Yes, there like a go. taco. That's better. Yeah. And then you're going to kind of go like and do that slide thing. Simple. Great. So should we um, try and lay it down? Yeah. I'm so disappointed. I thought it was going to be like the perfect size. I know, so do I. Yeah, if you go the other way, it's going to be just too long. But then again, how long it actually is? It's not nine feet. It doesn't be eight feet. Maybe it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Well, it's better. Maybe we do that. Here's what we're gonna do. March the desk right away off the whole mess. That's a, that's a much better idea. What were we thinking? Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, let's see. That's what we were thinking. Okay. I love this desk though. I really love it. It's one of my favorite things that I bought. I know, it's a beautiful desk. Man. It's like how I felt about that console in LA. Felt very confident. Oh, that, yeah, that console spectacular. Like part of me is like, is there any way we can ship it back here? We find a way, or there's a will, there is a way. Okay. Do you want maybe a little bit piece of wood showing on the edge? I think, right? Yeah. How uh, does that look with the chair situation? Looks fantastic. It's not bad. 
actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. This is, I like the fact that it's sitting in this direction. Yes. Then we'll just put this thing right in the middle. All right. You okay? Yep. Good. Yep. Did we luck out? I think we did. I think we did luck out. <gasps> I'm so relieved. I like it. I think we lucked out. It actually looks good. It does look good. Actually, I think it does a great job here. It really starts to complete things. Yeah, well, I've been meaning to like clean this room up a bit because I had just shit everywhere. No, this is nice. Yeah, this is pretty okay. That's fine. Once I get the, the new chair, which I have to pick, yeah. and a new table, like end table. Oh, yeah, for sure. It looks like trash right now. Well, compared to see what happens when you start elevating your place with nice stuff. All the other stuff looks like. Yeah. Just not as good. The rod is gonna probably go. It could go here. And suddenly, it's getting dark outside already. Like, my lights have turned on. I'm trying not to hate it. I'm trying not to hate it. The days just go by so fast. But we got a lot accomplished. Things that I've been wanting to do for weeks now. I'm finally back. Can get them done. I'm getting used to that rug down there, so I'm feeling better about it. Happy to have a rug in the office. Happy to have a new rug in my bedroom. I swear that video is coming. I don't actually know. I've taken so many clips over the last few months. I'm not totally sure what's going on with all the clips. I've tried to keep track of them, but my brain just sometimes shit happens. So regardless, when the room is done, you will see it. It's almost there. I'm just being like way too perfectionisty about it. I feel like there's just like a million details that I need to add or change and. I don't know. Maybe I'll just show it to you guys and call it a day. Actually, I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you care to see a whole video of the room when it's 100% done or do you want to just see it as is and then get brought along on the rest of the journey as I like slowly piece it together? Let me know. Before it's 100% dark, I want to open up the H&M boxes. I bought a bunch of stuff from H&M, a bunch of home decor. I got this stuff before I left and I thought it was going to arrive before I left and it didn't. So I don't even remember what's in here. I don't remember what I ordered and it was for sure like a midnight kind of order. So we will see what's inside. I also want to take a bath tonight because I know my body's going to kill me tomorrow. My legs are already feeling really, really sore. Oh, box in a box. Gotta love that. So I want to take like an Epsom salt bath to hopefully help, especially because I'm going to go on a walk with a friend tomorrow and I don't want to walk on my way. It's actually unreal. Like, you know, a lot of these are like little simple movements, but doing them over and over again, it starts to burn. Very unreal. Underrated. Okay, we have a vase. Could look very nice on the console. Gorgeous. Let me keep all the boxes contained. All right, welcome to the floor. This just feels easier instead of having everything on the island and then making that a mess again. It's the first place to get messy. Okay, one of the things fell out. When my mom brought it inside, she said that it was kind of like already, it looked like it was opened. I don't think it actually was, but this kind of was falling out. It's just like this kind of wicker basket box container. What's in here? Kind of like a fun little surprise. Like a little bit of a Christmas, even though I bought all this for myself. I really have no idea what's in every box, so. Another box in a box, because that's what you love to see. Oh, ooh, very nice. I like this. This is very pretty. And we got a few little boxes in here. Oh, I bought these little cups. They're like drinking cups, but they're way smaller than I expected them to be. So cute. And I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. I love these. These are so nice. Now, these are precious. I just need to invite people over for like a cheese and wine kind of night. Look how cute these are. You put them in the cheese so everyone knows what they are. I love these. Oh, and there's a goat one too. They're precious. They are so good. Love them. It's just like a fun little touch, you know? <laughs> I got a little espresso. <laughs> I ordered this right after I got back from our trip and I was all on the espresso train, which I still am for sure. Just for like a little mini pick-me-up and there's a little plate. Precious. Feels like a little French cafe. I love it. It's things like this, like this is probably five bucks and it really turns a very small little thing like having a shot of espresso into a beautiful, lovely experience. And that is what I'm trying to do with my whole life. Make the mundane amazing. And it doesn't have to cost that much. Okay, final box, the big guy. What did I pour? Oh, it's a pot. It's a pot for a fake plant. Dish, if you have a real plant. It's for my office plant. Good haul. You know, it's not even like I ordered that much stuff, but it seemed like I did based on these big boxes. Like, look at what I got. How crazy. I like everything. Everything's cute. These are cute. I think they're really cool. Obsessed with these, even for my own solo cheese boards. Again, making the mundane, regular shit, really cute. All this is good. Plus this, of course. I feel like that was successful, but 
I have to get to work. Like I have to do some editing. I have a vlog that's going up tomorrow that it's not edited because I've been doing too much in the day. So we're gonna work for the next hour and a half till like 6.30 and then I'm gonna start cooking dinner. And then dinner, bath, Oh, I'll read my book finally. I've been wanting to read my book, but I've had a hard time choosing the book over watching Manifest right now because it's just so good. Anyways, back to work. It's nice to have a rug in here. Yeah. Oh, it still rolls. Sweet. Okay, so I'm just editing my vlog and I just looked at the time. It's only 5.40. It feels like it should be dinner time. That's the weird part. It's confusing because it feels really late like it feels like i should be done working i'm still here for a while it just feels weird it feels like i should be starting to cook because it's so dark out just trippy you gotta get used to that but it is weird and i just needed to say that because it really tripped me out i was like okay is it time for my bath is it time for food i wish they didn't you know turn the clocks back why do they gotta do that why i think it's stupid this is the last time i'm gonna bitch about it no, it's not. <laughs> it's just about seven. I meant to stop at 6.30 so I could have more time to cook, but so be it. I was having way too much fun editing that vlog. I was editing the national vlog and I, uh, I feel like it's like a home video to me personally. That vlog to me is just my full memories. I don't know how good of like a, a vlog it is <laughs> content wise, but to me it's like all my memories from the trip and just like all of us having so much fun and singing and dancing and having just a, just a blast. It was truly so good. So many champs. I just feel like the night of the wedding was so nice. Obviously to be with Sarah and Cody and celebrate them and for all of their friends to go out to the bars and just have a good time. It was, it was so fun. Like looking at it back, I was just smiling. And it, those are the vlogs that I love to edit back because it's just truly, it just makes me so happy to relive those memories. And then it brings me back to why I started vlogging in the first place. And it was to capture memories in my life. And now I have almost a whole decade of that, which is insane. It's beyond me and I'm so grateful for it. You know, like there's so many things that I love about what I do for a living. And I can't even believe I do this for a living. Like I really can't. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. I feel so, fucking blessed. I never intended on this. I never intended this to be my life. And I have all these memories on top of this being my job. Like it just, <sighs> there are no words to ever say how grateful I am for this life. I just, I can't even believe it. I just love it. That was such a fun vlog, such a fun night, such a fun weekend. I need to go back to Nashville and do Broadway more because the live music hits different. Like all bars gotta be this way. It is just way more fun. Okay, what am I doing? I'm gonna make like a curry kale veggie bowl. gonna have this sparkling water from Trader Joe's, the sparkling coconut water with yuzu. It is so yummy. Cheers. Yum. Oh, it smells so good. I want to eat it all now, but I gotta be patient. See, it's times like this where I want to like snack on stuff while I'm waiting for my food to be done. And that's just, you know what? Actually, while I wait, we got like a good 20-ish minutes here, mostly to wait for the veggies, but I'm gonna try to make a dressing. I want to make a miso dressing. This all stemmed from a bowl that I had in Barcelona, and it specifically said that the miso dressing was miso, coconut milk, and honey. So I have coconut milk, I have miso, and I have honey. I don't plan to put this on my bowl tonight unless it tastes really good, but I plan on doing it with a curry. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I also have tahini and rice vinegar, so I feel like I'm just gonna combine things until it tastes good. I feel like that's gotta be the point, right? Just experiment. Kind of fun. I'm gonna put it in here. You guys know I don't really ever measure, but I am going to measure this one out in case it tastes really good and I wanna make sure it's great every time. I'm gonna add an eighth of water just to start thinning it out. Okay, we're gonna taste as we go here. 
while not forgetting about the tofu. So let's just see miso and water. I mean, that's delicious. I love miso. Okay, how much honey am I gonna do? We're gonna start with half a teaspoon. I don't taste the honey. We're gonna add in another half, so a whole teaspoon. Uh, maybe a little more. Another half teaspoon. Okay, I finally taste the honey. Now for this. I think I'm gonna go in with one eight equal ratio. This is a little risque. Actually, you know what? It's not even risky. Like, it doesn't really matter. Stop timer. Oh, you know what? They're brown and kind of nice in there. This is great. Set five minute timer. This is looking good. There is no reason not to experiment in the kitchen. You can end up with something really yummy. Who really cares? It tastes bad. You can always start again. <laughs> I also really loved the miso dressing that I got in LA. I was loving that. I should have taken a picture of the label so I could recreate it here, but I didn't. So that will have to be for a later date. Okay, let's give her a whirl. very heavy on the coconut it's good though but this is kind of what we're working with right now not bad do i want to add more miso i'm gonna add a little more honey and a little more miso another half so that's like two teaspoons i think total of honey and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of miso yeah Tofu looks delish, nice and golden. Still kind of soft, but like browned on the outside. Okay, one teaspoon. I think it's great. Mmm. Dare I add anything else, like some tahini? I don't know if I want to fuck it up. I'll try it now. Will I try it ever? I don't know. I feel like I have to try it. I gotta practice what I preach. No, actually, I decided against it. I don't think this would add anything. I think it would just dilute the flavor. Set two minute timer. But I am gonna add sesame oil. I know it's kind of the same thing, but still different. A little bit of this is gonna be a half teaspoon. I feel like this is gonna be icing on the cake. Moment of truth. Fuck, it overpowered everything. It's still good, but that is an overpowering flavor. It all tastes like sesame oil now. Well, live and learn. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna throw some kale on the pan and then we're gonna combine. Am I gonna do the curry or am I gonna add this? I'm gonna go curry. This is gonna be a nice salad for lunch. This looks so good to me. I put curry sauce and curry powder and garlic powder and also cayenne on the veggies and tofu. And then we got a whole ton of kale under there. I love kale. I also season my kale with cayenne and garlic and it's just so good. Okay, I just decided to dip one of my little veggies into the sauce and I take it back. It's perfect. I'm tasting all the miso now. I'm very confused as to how this happened. It's delicious. Yeah, like I'm not even tasting the sesame now. I'm very confused. It's really good, whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe I was smelling the sesame oil and that's what like made me think it was really pulling heavy on the sesame oil. But it's like, I think it's pretty good. Okay, this is a consistency I'm keeping it at for now. It's like a little thicker than a dressing, but it's kind of nice because I can use it as a dip if I feel like it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna bring my dinner downstairs. You know what? The rug is good. You know what? It's gonna be good no matter what because we're not doing that again. That was for sure a two person job and I don't wanna ask him to do that again. So it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm gonna watch like a little 30 minute episode so I can get it to the bath for 8.30, get out 9.30 in bed. Nice early night for an early morning. successfully made it into bed great evening i love a bath it was so nice my body is gonna be so sore tomorrow but hopefully the bath helped a little bit we'll see when i got out it was painful <laughs> but that's good i love that kind of pain because it means i did something good for myself just did all my skincare i think i'm gonna do a little bit more reading i'm at 40 percent now and i kind of want to like you know read more i want to know what's gonna happen <sighs> i also just broke my water bottle filling it up it's glass and i hit it against the faucet and it broke so Love that for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.